Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Here we are, back at it again. As you can see, I have a little puppy that is ready to work. And she is obviously very hungry. And this is how we do it. We are working for that food again. Every day, we learn and earn. I'm going to calm her down a bit here. She's getting a bit too excited. When they're too excited, they, they lose focus and go a bit crazy. But as the session goes on, she'll calm down. Still working on that heel. As you can see, she's flying around the touchpad now. Um, we've done a few sessions on the heel already with the touchpad, so she she's understanding it very well now, which is good. Looking for that contact with the leg, marking that, making our way around. As you can see, she's a bit jumpy. Just be careful with that. Try not to reward the jumping. You always want those two front paws to be firmly on that touchpad before you mark that and reward. But because she's such a young puppy, that jumping, it's all normal stuff. So that will eventually fade out. Here we're doing some sits and downs. Look at that. Flips her right to a heel. Boom. Marking yes. So as you can see here, I'm getting her to do not just the touch pad, but I'm getting her to do a few other things as well. Downs and sits and, you know, heels. All this is good engagement for the dog. As you can see, she's fully focused. And she is enjoying it. And that's what we want to do, guys. Training should be an enjoyment. I always say that training is not a chore. It is a lifestyle. Look at that for a stand. Beautiful. So, that, that's a touch and ride. That's good effort. I did I did fix that touch pad later on. I did put some sand in it and taped it up so it would stop sliding everywhere. So if you're gonna use a touch pad, definitely use some sand inside of it and add some weight to it so it doesn't move around. So with me as well, my body language and my level of energy is also up and that's what the puppy needs. That's what makes it fun, keeps the engagement up, keeps the drive up. So you don't want to just be standing there stagnant and saying sit, down, sit. Don't be boring. Try and, try and get as much engagement as you can. Give them some pats and some praises and make it fun. Try and make it as fun as possible for the pup. It always goes a long way. So here I've asked her, do you want to do some more reps? And she gave me a little bark, which is very cute. She said, yeah, man, I'm ready to work. Let's do this. This training session is in the afternoon. This is her dinner time. So this day, we were out all day. So she's very hungry right now. So as you can see, that eye contact is there. And she just wants that food. She's so hungry and she's ready to work for it, which is really good. And with your training, you also want to be two steps in front of the dog. Because that dog is being very pushy. And if you don't have a command for the next command, then you're probably going to lose them. So you want to be right right ahead of them and know what your next command is going to be. And just keep them engaged. So we're working on the heel here. Very simple thing. I just take one step. Mark it. Very subtle things, very subtle things. This was a really good session. I'm happy that I caught this on camera. She's so happy. When she's happy, it makes me happy, so it's really good. So we'll do a heel, mark it. 
You want to make sure you mark the right position. Very important. Jackpot yes. right there. Very good. Beautiful. Let them know that they just did an awesome job. Great training session. Very good. So I'll put her into a down here. She knows the drill. She knows what's up. I'll do a little bit of moving around just to test her. But she's solid. She's really good. And that's the magic word, free. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Love your V.